Hi, this is Double Tapper. We're back at the Phobos factory today to talk about how to break in your Phobos holster. As you know, Phobos is one of the world's largest manufacturers of holsters and pouches. The main design that they sell is passive retention. Now, passive retention holsters from Phobos come in two different types. This type, which is the standard series, and this type, which is the ND or Evolution series. The difference between the two is that the standard series has no retention adjustment screw. The Evo or ND series has a tension adjustment screw, which allows you to control how much force is needed to draw the pistol from the holster. Now let me show you how to break in your Phobos holster. The first thing you need to know about your Phobos passive retention holster is that it's designed to firmly hold your pistol inside using the area around the trigger guard. And what you need to do is overcome the passive retention system built into the holster by drawing briskly, forcefully, and in a straight line like this. The next thing you need to know is that the holster is designed to firmly fit in your belt using these hooks right here. So what you need to do is seat the holster properly. And the way you do that is you insert the holster in the waistband of your pants, slide it around to where it's most comfortable, making sure the hooks are underneath your belt, and then tighten your belt up nice and tight. And that'll hold your holster in place as you draw. Now remember, draw like you mean it. Now, if you're still having trouble drawing from your Phobos holster, you can always apply a little bit of silicone spray right around the area of the trigger guard. And what that'll do is lighten up the tension just a little bit and allow you to draw just a little bit easier. Thanks a lot for watching. There's more information in the description below and feel free to post a comment. Please subscribe to our channel and don't click away just yet. There's more videos coming up.